for a budget semi-automatic rifle, this thing rocks. Savage Model 64F, a very popular semi-automatic rifle here in the U.S. and started out in 1964 as the Winchester Cooey 64, a 22 long rifle only semi-automatic rifle with a blowback action. Of course originally these came with a wood stock, but these because of their reliability, the detachable magazine and the simple blowback action, these have been very popular. Uh, one of the great things about a rifle like this is that it's great to be able to train yourself and to train your kids. It's very lightweight, very easy to shoot, and just a lot of fun. Now the 22 long rifle is coming back into the market, uh, I think it's time to really look at some 22 long rifles. I, one of the things about these little guys is they're really inexpensive to shoot. Uh, there's a lot of uh, fun getting out to the range. There's not a lot of blowback and recoil. Uh, great just to enjoy getting out and doing some shooting, but also for those, you know, for your kids, for your wife, teaching them the fundamentals and the basics of gun safety and also of accuracy and marksmanship. And this is a great little rifle for that. Uh, very sleek, handy rifle. And of course, with the black stock, with the box magazine, and being semi-automatic, it's just a very appealing little rifle. First, first thing we'll do is to remove the magazine and check the chamber and the gun is empty. Uh, it does have a 10 round steel magazine. Some of the early magazines were kind of rough, but this one has a really decent finish on it. Uh, the magazine catch, you just push it forward. Can be a little tricky pushing the magazine in and then up, but the real trick is getting it out, just learning how to do that. And uh, just after you do it a few times, it's not a big deal, but it's a little more difficult than some of your other uh, box magazines going into a 22. Uh, this is a 22 long rifle only. Uh, it doesn't shoot shorts or longs, but you know those are almost impossible to find anyway. Uh, and the black, the action is blowback, very short stroke, and just very simple. Nice little charging handle with a knurled. Uh, circle around the outside to make it really easy to grab. Black synthetic stock with checkering here at the forend and right here at the pistol grip. Uh, and of course it's just a polymer uh, trigger guard as well. Uh, on the top we do have a, an, a scope mount and this is one of the dovetail mounts that fits the 22 or air scope type rings um, and really simple and of course with the low recoil of the 22 this works fine. Now when you get the rifle, it will have a tag right here with Savage. Of course, this is easily peeled off, and I will peel this off in just a few minutes. <laughs> but uh, it has a uh, sling swivel, which can also double as a mount for a bipod. And then here at the rear, another sling swivel. And the butt plate is plastic with the Savage logo and Savage marked here at the bottom. Safety up here, of course, safe and fire. Uh, one of the things about this, though, is kind of an unusual place. Uh, and you just pull your thumb up to get it, but uh, it's not very intuitive, but that's where it is. You have an adjustable rear sight right here with a little dovetail, uh, and this is adjustable for elevation. And then the front sight is adjustable for windage. You can knock it over. It is just in solid black. But one thing that the Model 64 does better than any of the other 22 semi-automatics that are popular right now is it has a steel receiver. Uh, most of your guns, including the Ruger 1022, the Remington, uh, even the Mossberg, they're all a aluminum receiver. I've got an Olight with a magnet in the bottom, and you can see 
there it goes. It gives it some strength, especially for your scope rings and the dovetail mount. Uh, that's really going to be nice. A uh, little bit more durability. The stock, of course, is made for getting out in the woods. So this is really something to me that is a great beginner rifle, uh, something you can give as a first gun to someone. Now we have a 21-inch barrel, uh, 40 inches overall length, and the barrel is carbon steel, and it's free-floating. And to demonstrate that, we're going to take some card stock and go right up through, and as you can see, free-floating all the way up to the receiver. And since it only comes with one magazine, I went ahead and ordered three extras from GunMagWarehouse.com. Great source for extra magazines and a great price. These were $15.99 a piece. And having those extra mags makes it really nice down at the range, instead of just loading one at a time. Now at the range, this gun is just a pleasure to shoot. It's so lightweight, it's so handy. Uh, it's just very ergonomic, it feels good. Um, you know, and it'll fire as fast as you can pull that trigger. Of course, you know, you're limited to 10 rounds. Uh, but really, it was no malfunctions whatsoever. I mean, none. And I was only using CCI Mini Mags, which are typically very reliable. Uh, some of my favorites, by the way. But uh, the 10 round magazine, one of the things about it, just pulling it in and out, it took a little bit of finagling to, to figure it out more than anything else. Uh, the lever really I found taking my uh, index finger just pushing up it pulls in and then lifting that uh, catch out of the way to be able to get it really that's it. I mean it's just takes a little bit of the messing around with. 1022 you know there you have to kind of push and pull that uh, magazine out as well uh, so it's just getting used to it but no malfunctions not one. Um, it was just sweet shooting and uh, and very accurate as well you know we had a really tight group again that first group you know I was I had to run up to the top of the hill had to come back down and in between that time you know just being a little bit heavier breath but second group settled in and shot and of course it's easy to adjust these tar these sights I'm um, gonna put a scope on here and try it out and see what real tight accuracy we can get but uh, overall I really like it one thing that I did find was the front sight it's black and it can be a little difficult to see uh, unless you're in brighter sunlight. And here I had some, the woods are shading it. But uh, I did find that a little bit difficult sometimes to find. So I think putting a little bit of white paint on that would settle that with no problem. Uh, the stock's lightweight, again, you know, it's just a lot of fun. And for the money that you're gonna put into this, I think it's well worth the investment. Speaking of savage, this gun is a savage. We're going to check trigger pull, and the gun has been safety checked and cleared. It's almost like a two-stage trigger. Now this is their base trigger. Has some take up. Then a nice crisp snap. Check that again. Some take up. Right there. Not a bad trigger, uh, but savage does offer an advanced trigger that's actually much better. Now let's see what the trigger pull is using the Lyman trigger gauge. Five pounds, 2.5 ounces. Five pounds, 7.5 ounces. Five pounds, seven ounces. So just a little, about under five and a half pounds for the trigger pull. Another really great thing that Savage offers in the Model 64 is they have a totally left-handed version uh, with the charging handle, the ejection port, and everything on the other side. And that's the Model 64 FL, which L stands for left. They also have a number of other models, including a stainless steel model. They have a target model, a tactical model, and they even have threaded barrels uh, and really nice trigger systems. Uh, this is just your basic trigger, but some of them have you know competitive triggers. So there's a lot of different options with the Model 64, and this is just the base, which is fun to just to get out and play, and uh, but yet you're still getting all the basic features on this base model.
Now the Model 64 is a very lightweight rifle, very handy, uh, weighs 5 pounds, 4 ounces. And that's about the same weight as your Rugers and your other 22s that are out right now. Uh, in the synthetic stock, uh, you put a wood stock on there, you're going to get a little more weight to it. Uh, but really because this is such a narrow, thin gun, and with the 21 inch barrel, uh, which is a little bit longer than a lot of your Ruger 1022s, but your Ruger has the aluminum receiver. So that's going to make a difference. But it's so thin. I mean, it's really easy to handle, really easy to grab hold and to get a good grip, especially for smaller hands. And then with this texturing, uh, it really gives you a good solid purchase when shooting. Now, one of the cool things about the Savage 64 is these are made in Canada. And they are imported to uh, Savage Arms here in the United States. So it's just a kind of a cool fact that these are made in Canada, which we don't get a lot of firearms made in Canada. Now, as I mentioned before, Winchester Cooey was the one who introduced the Model 64, and then Lakefield actually bought the rights to the 64 and called it the Lakefield 64B. And then Sears Roebuck started their Model 6C. Uh, so, and of course, Lakefield was making them for uh, Sears. And then Savage picked up the reins and really putting together a really nice little rifle for a budget rifle. Um, you know, a rifle like this between, you know, $100 and $125 is just fantastic. And uh, with the accuracy and the reliability, uh, you know, it's just really hard to beat. And again, to me, a great beginner rifle. Right here on this side of the barrel, of course, it's a warning for you to read your owner's manual. <laughs> and then here we see Savage Model 64 and caliber 22 long rifle only. And it states here that it is made in Canada. And one of the great things about this rifle is the price. Uh, the full retail price on this is $140. Uh, typically they run about $130 to $125, but there's always a lot of sales on these. Uh, a lot of guys I've seen have been getting these for around the $99 range. I found this on clearance at Walmart for $64, and that's not a standard price. In fact, that is something you just happen to luck up on, and I got the very last one. Uh, so, a lot of times you can find these rifles, yes, they don't quite have the pedigree of the Ruger 1022, which is a fantastic rifle, you know, uh, I own about three of those, uh, but the Model 64 is de definitely has a place uh, in your uh, gun collection. It's a, a very handy little rifle, a great inexpensive rifle to be able to keep uh, for pest control and to be able to, you know, just have handy for the things that you need a 22 for. Uh, and again, you can go out and plink with it. It's really accurate. Nice little rifle. So I highly recommend these little guys. I think they're just a lot of fun to shoot. And for the price, even at $130, $125, it's a fantastic rifle to have. And now that 22 long rifle is coming back in, that makes it even sweeter. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. This is a 22 long rifle only blow black, blow black. This is a blow black. <laughs> and then here at the rear, another swings. And then here at the fort is only a reference, which they bought Cooey out. Um, a collaboration between Winchester and Cooey, which um, I think they should have just left it the Cooey. <laughs> I think that's a cool name, the Cooey. You can see, and I've got a mag light with a magnet in the bottom. The Savage is loose. Hey, I'm part Cherokee. I can get away with it. 